welcome to my channel and if you're new here my name is Erica and I'm here with another vlog for you. To start off the vlog, I'm going to be talking to you about the concept photos for the Butter CD that BTS is releasing. So I'm going to share my thoughts right now with you. This isn't my first reaction obviously, um, it's been out for a few days now, all of the concept pictures, but I wanted to share my thoughts with you and I want you to comment what you think about them as well. So let's just get right into that so okay let's just talk about these concepts as a whole i'm not going to go into depth for each member but let's just let's just talk about it as a whole so we start with the first one and can we take a moment to just look at all the little details in here there's so much written on the table and you see there's permission to dance and there's lyrics from butter in there as well um and these outfits man my goodness. Can we talk about Taekook and the leather jackets and the little frill here? And we also got some new hair colors with people. There's just a lot to take in with this. They definitely went with the more edgy bad boy vibe with these first ones for sure. You know, concept photos are such a fun time. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, hello Jimin. His red hair. Red hair Jimin is back. You never know what you're going to get with these concept pictures and it's just they always come up with something so new and so different and unique and Oh, it's just so exciting. Also, Yoongi's little pink strips of hair here. So cute. Okay, then version number two absolutely destroyed me. This is the jail holding up the little thing and the handcuffs. The handcuffs. I am not over that. First of all, okay. Hello. Tay's hair. His entire being as a whole. I want more of this. They all just look so good. And JK's tattoos and the pink heart handcuffs like i'm not gonna survive whatever this is and jimin look at you june's hair i'm in love with this color on him and the way that it's styled whew, it's a lot to take in right now <laughs> the number three was the car wash just everything each concept is so different i've said it before like they always had a different concept one thing i'm confused about though is that they got rid of jungkook's tattoos um like on his arm, but they kept the hand one in one picture, but then his other one, they got rid of all of them, so I'm really confused, but it's no big deal, it's whatever. Um, Hobie with his little pink dip dye hair, love that. His hair is like a different color in every concept, I'm pretty sure. I'm all for that. Jin, Jin, my man, hello. Jimin wants me to pass away and not exist anymore. I don't know how Jimin biases or anyone is surviving this right now. I asked Kendra, she's not surviving, <laughs> uh, but he's just, oof. Same with Namjoon's hair. My god, Yoongi. Don't stare at me like that, mister. But number four, we went to the beach. There's a lot of colors going on. There's a lot of stuff on this beach, but I'm all for it. I'm loving the heart glasses that a few of them are wearing. Um, Tay is the total package right now, and I really want that watermelon. Hobie is just a ball of sunshine, as we all know. I'm obsessed with these concepts. I can't get enough of them. Let me know what your favorite concept is or what your favorite picture is or whatever or what you're excited for it's almost here permission to dance is almost here and i'm so excited okay so i started watching a K drama the other day it is it's okay not to be okay i am obsessed with it i've been binge watching it i have bawled my eyes out sobbing like a million times like every single episode i cry at least once but i only have one episode left so i'm really upset about that but if you have any suggestions of k-dramas you would like me to check out that are on netflix let me know because i really really want to watch more now so i'm gonna watch the last episode now or at least until kendra wants to do something and then i'll have to pick it up again later but i'm gonna start watching it now i want to know how it ends but i don't want to be done Okay, I'm only like halfway through, but I'm going to stop now. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs and hang out with Kendra. We're gonna eat some dinner. We've been watching In the Soup during dinner, re-watching it, because we just miss it. I really wonder if they're gonna do another season or something like that, because they normally do some kind of summer package thing, but we haven't really gotten that yet, so I'm wondering. And then later on tonight, I'm going to pick back up this episode and finish the show, sadly, but I'm really enjoying it and I really don't want it to end, but it's really good, so I just want to get to another one now which i don't know what to watch so comment which k drama i should watch next <laughs>
Okay, Kendra and I are about to go get our second COVID shot. Pretty nervous because everyone that, that is our age seems to be getting some kind of side effect afterwards. Well, not everyone, but most people I know. So I'm hoping if I do get a side effect, it's just gonna be like being tired and just kind of a sore arm and stuff. So hopefully that is all that happens, but that is what we're about to go do right now. Are you ready, Kendra? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's, Let's get go. It. We got Let's it. Get... We, did it. we did it. Fully vaccinated. Here Fully we go. Vaccinated. Can't see my information, but we did it. No, when can we go to concerts? <laughs> get the concerts started Let's back go. up. I'm kind of nervous because I reacted so bad after the first one. Like my leg, I woke up and my leg had pins and needles in it the entire day. I think it stopped after like 24 hours, but still I had to contact public health and everything. There was a block on my profile, but they took it off so I could get this one. But as we were checking in, the the girl's like, what the heck is this? <laughs> it was because there was a block before. Yeah. Then I was nauseous, I had headaches, and tired. So, so the second one's happen. supposed to hit you harder, so I, know. I might be in big trouble. But maybe since you had a bad first reaction, the second one the second will be one better. Will be okay. Anyways, we're done. Tomorrow's gonna be what it's gonna be. We're gonna go home and have a good meal and hydrate. Yeah, they said, they kept saying. Yeah, so. Drink your fluids. We're gonna go drink those fluids, but yay. So for dinner, we're gonna make some mashed potatoes and some chicken nuggets. And we're making chicken nuggets because we have leftover sauce from the BTS meal. So obviously we have to use that up and eat it so before it goes bad, so I'm really excited. Good morning. Survive the night with the vaccine. Woke up, my arm is actually really sore. Not as sore as the first one though. I can lift it this high. <laughs> last time it was only like down here. So I can lift it higher than last time, but I woke up and I had a headache, but I thought I was okay. And then um, I sat up for too long and ended up feeling nauseous. So I went back to bed because I despise feeling nauseous. No one likes the feeling, but I absolutely hate it. I don't want to throw up ever. So I went back to bed. Um, and then I woke up and I'm able to sit up now without feeling nauseous, so that is good. Uh, my head still hurts though. But other than that, I'm fine. Kendra is fine. She just has a sore arm and just tired, has a headache, but nothing else is happening, which is good. So Kendra is watching something from Gary Newman right now, and I am going to order myself a new mouse pad because the one I'm using right now is like bent and destroyed and it's really, really annoying. So I'm gonna order myself a new mouse pad. And I found one on Coco Dive. Um, and it's the Baby BT21 ones, and it's the Cookie and Tata one, which is adorable. I wanted to get the group one, but it's sold out, and also when I found it on Amazon, like, it's expensive. So I thought I would just get the Cookie and Tata, which, because you can see, I kind of have, like, Cookie and Tata going on in my room right now, so might as well. This is the one that I'm interested in. Look at how cute they are. Adorable. I'm going to make some coffee today. It's almost 11 o'clock, which means... BTS is potentially dropping some kind of teaser for Permission to Dance. Permission to Dance teaser. Oh my god. Here we go. Okay, hold on. Back up. Back up. Let's play that again. <gasps> also, Tanja and Cooper beside each other, guys. I got my dream. 2022, the beginning of a new era. Right about that. Tour starts up again? Okay, hello, Yuki. Okay. Oh my god, they look so good. Kendra will be happy about Mini Money. <laughs> Oh my god, it sounds like it's gonna be so fun. So, it says a bunch of, he's pointing, Hobie's pointing to a bunch of like, places. What if they're like, hey, tour's gonna start back up. I hope, that's my thought. Oh, okay, <gasps> did you hear that? Guys, I'm so excited. Wow, okay, they look so good. Okay, I'm just really excited to be getting new content and they look really happy and this one is with Ed Sheeran. He worked on it with them. So that's pretty cool because he did make it right before and that was, Fantastic one of my favorite songs they've ever done. Um, so I'm just really excited to see what this one is like. I need to watch it again. <laughs> Hold on 
Also, I'm just picking up Tay was like the main. Tay was the lead vocal there. <gasps> Tay. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I can already tell. I mean, you know everything BTS does is amazing. And like I said, I really don't care what the concept is, what it sounds like, whatever. I'll like it no matter what. I don't really have an opinion. I'm just happy that they're still releasing content and they're still going strong. <gasps> guys, 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 guys. Butter just got six weeks at number one on the Hot 100. Yay! Congratulations, BTS. That's so exciting. Okay, um, let's reach for seven. Even if it doesn't happen, this is I'm so proud of them. They're making history. This is incredible. I'm oh, I'm so proud of them. And us, ARMY. Come on, we did this for them too. Give yourselves a pat on the back. We've worked together for this. Um, but this is really exciting and this is so cool. Oh, yay, congratulations. Okay, now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching this madness and craziness of a vlog. It was kind of all over the place, but... I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, but if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and like I said, subscribe so you don't miss any more content and I don't know, leave a comment if you would like to about anything that happened in here. I love reading your comments. The positive comments that you send really do make my day so much better and I really do appreciate it that you take your time out of your day to watch my video and let alone leave a comment. Like that's just, that's so nice of you and I really do appreciate it. So thank you for doing that. Uh, but yeah, that's the end for this one. We'll see you in the next one that I will post. Thank you for watching. Bye.